Hey guys, what's good? It's your boy, the coach, formerly of the WWE, ESPN, and now CBS Sports and the PGA Tour. Welcome to the Armed and All Heart YouTube channel, YouTube show, where your mental, physical, and spiritual well-being is all that matters. Now, when I stumbled on this incredible platform filled with faith, fitness, and living life to the fullest, I couldn't help but want to help in just a little way. In the last year, because of COVID and all being isolated and being stuck at home, I've certainly changed in a lot of ways. The biggest way is understanding how much I need other people, how much I need the contact with other positive people in my life so that I can grow, so that I can move forward, so I can be a better person. And now every single day when I get up, I have simply two focuses, my incredible two kids, my relationship with my partner, Crystal, and my spiritual relationship that whether or not you're going to church every single day or you're just living the right way. My dad, he's a United Methodist pastor, retired. He always told me, because I was traveling a lot for sports in my career, he said, it doesn't matter if you're in the building every day or every week or every month. It's that you live like you're in the building every day, every week, and every month. And that's what I try to do to the best of my ability. Enjoy this platform, enjoy Armed and All Heart, and we all, we all have to come together, especially right now, and lift each other up. And that's exactly what I want to do. Be safe, be good, we'll see you all soon. Very early Saturday morning. Yes, my wife is still in a mental hospital. Thank you for your continued thoughts and prayers. Yeah, my own mother even said, I don't know how you're taking it all. Just because you don't see me break down doesn't mean I'm not. All we can do, and I told my wife this when I talked to her over the phone, do the things that are within our control. And don't worry about the things that are out of our control. Count the blessings each day that you do have. Me and my wife will get through this. So I'm going to do... Um, the small YouTuber tag. What made you want to start YouTube? To be completely honest, I wanted to be a brand ambassador for a supplement company and get free stuff. What is the video you're most proud of? I am most proud of my first powerlifting meet, and of course my only powerlifting meet at this point because it's thanks to COVID. My first and only powerlifting meet where I came back from a completely torn bicep injury to pull 540 pounds after blowing out my bicep at, a, at the youth center.
Do I struggle with social media? Yeah, kind of, because all the drama, the negative drama, gets all the attention. And all the positive stuff that can really help and uplift people doesn't get any attention, for the most part. What content creator, what YouTuber, content creator, inspires you most? Well, I really don't have a favorite because I have a lot of people that I like that have YouTube channels. But I would like to say small YouTubers inspire me the most that have less than 500 subscribers, have less than 20 views per episode, yet they keep going because they love what they're doing. What frustrates you about other creators or other YouTubers? Well, personally, I'm jealous. That doesn't frustrate me. Well, I guess you could say it frustrates me. I am jealous of all YouTubers that spread negativity, dropping the swears, F-bombs every time, and yet they have millions of subscribers and about a thousand views per episode, just on the negativity. What frustrates me about my channel? Well, what frustrates me the most, I'm doing now what I love. It's not about being a brand ambassador and getting free stuff anymore. And that lasted maybe a, maybe half a season before I was like, it's way more than that. Other small YouTubers came to my, started coming to my channel and started getting me involved like with these tags and stuff. And then I cared more about the interaction with people. So what frustrates me about my channel? I love what I'm doing, but very few seem to care. But I think that's because I just have to figure out and find my target audience. Last question. What motivates you to make content? My faith in Jesus Christ. Because I have to believe that even I know, even though I get low views and I don't have that many subscribers of like other people do, and I've been doing it for this for quite a while, I have to believe that I'm making a difference. I might not just see it all the time, but I have to believe I'm making a difference to somebody. Somebody needs encouragement. Somebody needs a little faith and hope sometime. So I leave you with this Bible quote encouragement of the week. You sent me aid more than once when I was in need. Philippians 4.16. Thanks everyone for showing up. Keep fighting.